We're going to Australia. Oh. Previously on the island life of us, we made a monumental journey from our tiny island home back to Australia. And in this episode, we are sharing how life in the big smoke has been for us so far. Hey, Hey guys, so we're in Oz. We're in Australia. <laughs> and we've had haircuts. <laughs> and I've shaved at least twice. <laughs> so for those of you who might be new to the channel, uh, we've been living the island life together for almost a decade now, and our two beautiful children have grown up on the island with us. Uh, we've been isolating on the island for almost two and a half years during the pandemic, mm -hmm. and have recently made it back to Australia for much needed catch up with friends and family and medical appointments. When we were last in Australia, Ophelia was not even six months old and Arlo was not quite two. And then now, at least two. two. Now you're two you're and two. eight months and Arlo's four and a bit. So a lot of people have asked us how the kids have been adjusting. And honestly, I think the reverse culture shock is probably harder for Jace and I at this point. Definitely. The kids are doing amazingly well. It's been really fun to see them experience things in Australia kind of for the first time. Ozzy sue me to the camera to our friends on YouTube. Do you want to show her? Who's this filly? Being back in Australia now with access to this phenomenal healthcare system has been a massive relief. And yeah. yeah. At the same time, it's a little bit overwhelming because we've been away for so long and not been able to get back for our regular checkups. We've got a lot to do. In a, in a small space of time. So we've had a lot of specialist appointments and checkups for the kids and both of us. Things like our dentist appointments and our skin cancer checks. Um, I've had some health things going on that needed following Mommy. up. Jace has got a broken finger <laughs> that needed following up. Um, things like that. But because we haven't been able to address these things as they've presented, it's it feeling like right now we've got all these things to deal with at once, which we, we kind of do, but that's Mommy. just the situation and we're very grateful Mommy to be here. Mommy got a thumbs up. Oh, thumbs she up. does. Thumbs up for Aussie Healthcare. And Daddy's broken <laughs> finger. And Daddy's broken <laughs> finger. Thumbs up. Yeah, it's overwhelming, but we're very grateful that we have access to the healthcare that we have here. Yeah. Incredibly lucky. Exposure to illness has been a bit of a thing since we've been back because our kids have picked up every little bug. Mm -hmm. um, it's limited some of the things we can do and some of the people we can see, but it is really good for the kids to be exposed to all of those common illnesses and yeah, boost up their immune system. Yeah. So we're told anyway. <laughs> Hasn't been all that fun. <laughs> How you going there, everybody? Woo! Good times. We've been thoroughly enjoying the conveniences of life in Australia, especially when it comes to food. Feels like it couldn't be easier to make a sandwich when you can just go and buy bread and ready to eat vegetables and salad. Don't need to pull the vegetables out of the ground after traveling yeah. for an hour to get there. And I think even the kids have noticed the convenience of food here. They've made a couple of comments to us about, um, yeah, not to worry if we spill something because it's okay, we can get more, it's Aussie. <laughs> so we're definitely feeling that. I'm washing my mouth. 
Yeah, but you're still yeah, talking. Yeah. Good blocking, but you can't keep talking. While it's been really great having all the Aussie foods back in our life, I've been having a really hard time with some food allergies. Mm. It's an, an issue that's been going on for me for quite a few years actually. And now being back here in Australia, I've had a couple of reactions and conveniently at the time that I'm seeing an allergist and trying to figure some stuff out. But it has resulted in a few hospital admissions for me and we're still not at the bottom of it. <laughs> why is she going to the ambulance? They're going to the hospital. Oh, why? What happened? She got a little bit sick. Oh, what made her sick? Why? No. In the... Kiwi fruit. <laughs> oh. Are you keeping mummy brave, Philly? Good girl. Aww. Say bye, mummy. Bye, mummy. See you soon. See you soon. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Hi guys! <laughs> the amazing care we've received. Oh, so good. And I have verbal consent to put you on you uh, YouTube. Yes. Alright. So clever. So dramatic, darling. Like, seriously. Dramatic, oh my lord. <laughs> what a very safe world to live in. <laughs> So we're we again. <laughs> <laughs> Needy. <laughs> Having done so we've been at ED this week, babe. Three. Three times for ED. Twice for me, once for Philly. Which she probably didn't mean. <laughs> <sighs> I feel like maybe um we're just like making up for time because like we just haven't been able to utilize. Yeah. We're really not. We would never weigh and down the health system like that. On, just... We keep going on about how good the health system is, and we clearly we just really love it. So we just keep coming back. Oh God. So what actually happened? I ate some chips in the car when I swallowed one tongue. Some chips, sea salt chips, kettle. <laughs> really bloody nice. Okay, no, why are you putting kiwi fruit and uh, <laughs> pineapple and chips? I don't think <laughs> it's in the ingredients list. No, I think it was in that other little bar thing. Something. A mild uh, reaction. Anyway. And responding, getting better quicker this time. So. We're just here for observation. It's how we date these days. That's how we date these mm. days. So we just left the kids screaming with grandma and thank, thank God for mom. <laughs> so. But better that it happened here than back on the island. Yeah, but it has had us thinking a lot about the differences between what we eat on the island and what we eat here and how we eat so many um, things that are packaged and have preservatives and things like that in it. Yeah. And it's looking like it might be something like that that is the problem for me. As well as being anaphylactic to kiwi and pineapple. Definitely. Which is a shame, living on a tropical island and not being able to eat pineapple. But <laughs> it is what it is. So I guess one of the challenges is we do really need to get to a bit of a resolution with that and have a plan before we can safely return to the island. Um, but luckily we've got some amazing people working with us and yeah. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Very lucky. It'll be right. Which <laughs> actually reminds me, I feel like because of, maybe because of our video title last week, if you are following along and you're worried that we've left the island forever, we haven't. We oh, are no. going home. We are just on a family and medical holiday, basically, um, a long overdue visit, but we will be going home to the island eventually. <laughs> so obviously when you live the island life that we do, you accept a certain level of disconnect from your friends and family, uh, but the last two and a half years have just been utterly extreme. I mean, it comes, it comes with the nature of the lifestyle. Yeah, definitely. Right? But this was not foreseen and um, coming back and just having that connection again and seeing the people who we care about uh, is just really, really important and it's it's been very therapeutic for us as well. Yeah, we've really needed it. Mm. Mmm, very nice. <laughs> so fancy. <laughs>
What sort of shark is that though? Jamie? Oh, happy birthday, Arlo. And then what do you say? Thank you, Mama. So the convenience of Aussie life and shopping centres and the novelty of everything does wear off pretty quickly and we really felt nature pulling us back within the first few days. So we have actually been loving showing our kids uh, the beauty of Australia and just reconnecting with nature, getting back in the ocean. Yeah. For me, getting the kids in the surf is something that just completes me. I just love it. It is so much fun and seeing them enjoy that passion which is so deeply embedded in me is just brilliant. Yeah, they um, love it too. They love it. The kids have been out, they've both been they both stood up on a surfboard now. I think the last couple of years on the island have really taught us how good nature and the outdoors and the adventure lifestyle that we live, it's so good for the children and carrying that on while we're here in Australia is, is different for us compared to how we used to live when we bounced back to Australia, so um, we've really enjoyed it so far. So we hope that this video reassures people that we are <laughs> still going to be living the island life. Um, this is part of island life, is actually coming back to Australia and, and grounding ourselves a little bit every so often. But we will be heading back to the island soon and um, there's a lot more to come from us, so we'll see you soon. See you in the next episode. Oh, make sure if you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below. We love reading your comments and the support we've been getting recently has been wonderful. So thank you so much to everybody who has been thinking of us and sending lovely kind messages about our return to seeing family in Australia. It means the world. Philly, you want to come say goodbye? Quick. Bye. Are you going to wait till you're in the camp? Okay. Bye. 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 This is Aussie Sumi, by the way. Oopie Sumi is still at Oopie. It's still at the Lizard Cave. It's still back up. Alright, off you go, Lock. <laughs> That's one to swap Sumi off. Fair enough. Cool. Okay. Gosh, these chairs are noisy. Yeah. It's actually leaning. Yep.